Fiction slash nonfiction. Girls' Voices by J.D. Rivera Lopez, Lincoln School, 7th grade, Mizengo. Once girls used to be married really young and have kids really young, but it all happened before I was born. But I watched a movie, it was titled Girls Rising. And I was crying when I saw the girl get married young, but the man wanted children. So the girl was only seven, but the man wanted children. But the man, but the man, but the man, but the man, and one day the girl realized that some girls go. sad to see that, but then I kept watching, and the girl said, No, I will not have children, I will not be your wife. I felt like saying, You go, girl. I felt like that woman is part of the reason why I'm writing this story. And the man got really furious. But she didn't care. girls that don't go to school because they're gonna get married go to school go to school she wanted girls to not pass through what she did go to school go to school she went to houses all covered because she lived in a world that she could not show skin but that was before now it's after she wasn't afraid of anyone anymore. She just wanted to help. So she took her face cover off and said, I will not be afraid. I will not be afraid. But then she went to girls' houses and she said, Whoever wants to go to school, come with me. Come with me. She walked into the school and said, with all of her might and bravery, and bravery, I will not leave until these girls have enrollment in school. That was before, now it's after. That was before. I will not be afraid. I will not be afraid. might have been really young and little, but they have a big voice, they have a big voice, and that's how I learned that girls can change the world, by spreading their voices, spreading their voices, spreading their voices, spreading their voices. Once girls used to be married really young and have kids really young but that was before now it's after but that was before now it's after